completed all the tasks yesterday. Seven points it earned, 47 minutes, 59 seconds. one good way to give it a disturbance. We also, like I, you saw in the video, we go outside to the park, we run over varying uh, uh, surfaces. Uh, we're doing demonstrations out in the expo area where we have uh, obstacles and random boards and things it walks over. How does it handle some of those obstacles? Because we saw a little bit early one of the demonstrations and one of the videos with Cheetah, for example, able to jump over some yeah. objects. Is Atreus able to, how does Atreus handle some obstacles and different challenges with, with regard to terrain? That's a great question. So one of the things that's important about this robot is it has no external sensing. It has no cameras on board, no laser sensors. You're wearing a pair of stilts, you're blindfolded, your arms are immobilized, and maybe someone gives you a kick every now and then. So you can probably balance, but the robot's doing pretty well if you think about all those things. So when it goes over obstacles, the robot thinks the ground is flat. Let's just handle it. What was the, the most interesting part for you guys? To veer off the course a little bit and you have to slow down. So what is the next step, Patrice? <laughs> you know, I'm sure they would take volunteers for dodgeballs. <laughs> but once again, a full demonstration and a closer look over at the expo. You guys are over there.